What is up? It's your boy Austin. Welcome to a brand new Troop of Austin. I actually recorded this bit yesterday, um, at least half of it, and then my camera died. Uh, so we're going to do this all over again, like you already know. But we got some great topics, and we also have a great interview today with Ayan. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not even going to pronounce I'm sorry, bro. I'm not going to even pronounce your last name. I already butchered his first name, apparently, for the whole interview. I feel like I got that wrong, and I'm very sorry if I did. Thank you for, um, you know, for, for coming up in the... Uh, in the on the interview and in the, in the show um, I'm still trying to come up, with, come up with a name for it like you know welcome to the cap squad the quap cap lair like, uh, I'm not gonna use that definitely not gonna use the cap lair the cap squad something like that I don't know welcome to the squad lounge but you're not in the lounge because you're over zoom I don't know all right but let's get straight into trending topics and right, our first topic uh, why I stayed home for Halloween I mean you know, kids, like, they go out nowadays, you know, they go out, they do their own thing, they, um, you know, they decide, oh, you know, I'm gonna go to a party, I'm gonna go, you know, especially my age, you know, or, or, you know, the younger kids, they'll go out, or, you know, some of the teens will have groups and they'll go out together, which we actually did get at the end of the, the day in my house, I, um, we did get, like, a few teenagers, but they were, like, the only ones, actually speaking, we only got, like, three little kids an hour before that, dressed up as candy corns, ring our doorbell, and then, like an hour later, we got like the f three or four teenagers, and that's all we got the whole night for any candy. That's all we got. It was like seven kids in, in total. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's pretty, I mean, I don't know. I just thought that like maybe when I was younger, we actually got more people, but maybe we didn't, I don't know. But apparently we did because my, my parents said that we did. So yeah, and I expect that, you know what I mean? But no, especially after COVID, it killed it. But the reason why I stayed is just because, you know, I've been busy with trying to work get my stuff done, I enjoy it, you know, it's not like I'm, it's a hassle for me to stay and, and, and you know, do work, I like it, um, <clears throat> but did you all stay home for Halloween, what did you do, did you stay home for Halloween, um, you know, and also, I don't know, I've just never been a huge Halloween person, personally, yeah, I still have all the candy from, from our front door, <laughs> I'm just snacking on it here while, before I even do the show, but, yeah, so that's our first topic, our uh, second topic is Jake Paul Wynn, uh, won his fight, against and and I think it's, I think it's Anderson Silva is his name Anderson Silva so the UFC fighter no one expected this you know it's kind of crazy because everyone was like you know they always talk shit they're like oh he can't uh. and it was very unexpected but the way that Jake went about it and then did it and um you know he'd be Anderson Silva at, you know at the age Anderson Silva's at he's in his 40s I believe and um late 40s I think and um, yeah I mean he did well from what I saw I didn't watch it I would have watched it like I usually do, but you know, it just, he just seemed kind of like everywhere, right? I mean, at least he got, got done the fight, you know, like, like even though it went to, um, what do you want to call it? The, by rounds, you know, like they, it, you know, um, they had to determine who the winner was instead of, you know, a knockout or anything. Um, you know, like I said, Jake did his thing. I, I think it's, it's cool. I want to see who he, who he takes on next. If he takes on Nate Diaz next, I'm 100% watching. All right. Topic number three. All right, unfortunately, you already know, Takeoff got shot. The Takeoff is the member uh, of, the, of the Migos. Um, sadly, he um, passed away. You know, he got um, shot, I think, at a poker game. By, 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 by poker. I mean, that's ridiculous. But knowing, you know, everything that we have and all the issues we have in this country with gun laws, and the fact that this was in Texas, I mean... It's, you know, it's, it's very unfortunate, very sad, obviously, the whole hip-hop community and I think people in general are grieving for, for Takeoff. I think it's, you know, everyone knows Takeoff, his music is crazy, um, that he's done with Amigos and everything that they've done together. So, it was sad, it was very sad. What do y'all think about this? Um, you know, it's not really, you know, I don't have as much to say about this as I did yesterday because it's been, you know, a few days after now since it happened, but, you know, you've heard what everyone says and... It is what it is. Sadly, um, you know, I think the Migos are gonna take some time. Um, you know, they were already not, they weren't already together though, because they were having some issues. I think, or I can't say, you know, what was happening. I don't know, but they weren't really doing stuff together for a little. So, you know, but now they're grieving for their former uh, member of the Migos. You know, Quavo and all of them. I think we're on topic four now. Yeah. So next topic, um, Kick Hunter is forced to come out. Now this one is unfortunate for real because the fact that oh I'm gonna get some candy while we talk, but the fact that um 
Like, obviously no one should be forced to come out. I think that's the first thing. I just think that a lot of people, we have to look at it from both sides. A lot of people were, were really like, well, what's happening? Because he was in this show, he's holding hands with a girl. What actually is he? And I can see why people are very curious and wanting to know. But there's a right way to go about it. And obviously Kate was not the type of person to be like, let me just let people know um, what I label it because he's not big on labeling, which is, you know, respect, you know, respect him. You know what I mean? He, if he's not big on labeling, um, <laughs> then stop harassing him. But the fact that everyone kept doing it, and of course everyone's gonna, you know, you can't control everyone, you can't tell everyone what to do. So of course this is expected, people are gonna do that. And um, it just, you know, it turned out bad. Um, uh, you know, obviously he came back on Twitter and he showed really his thoughts about it because he left Twitter for seven weeks and he came back. Um, and let me read what he wrote exactly. Um, yeah, so on Twitter, Kid Connor, and, and oh, here you go. Oh. By the way, Twitter's crazy right now. I just went on Twitter. I'm like, damn, I forgot. What's his name? Owns the whole thing now. So he tweeted, and by the way, this has a million likes now. Jesus. He said, back for a minute, I'm by. Congrats for forcing an 18 year old to out himself. I think some of you missed the point of the show. Bye. Oh. Oh. First of all, kind of aggressive, but also very expected because it's like, you know, I can understand after being harassed over and over. And I can't understand because I've had the same issues. Obviously, I'm not as big as he is, um, but I've had my fan bases and stuff within other things that I've done, um, you know, whether in media, interviews, things like that. And you get it, you know, and people ask, people wonder, you know. So, um, this is what I wanted to say. Is where he says, I think some of you missed the point of the show. I think a lot of people missed the point of the show if, they, if they're going to do that right after. Um, but again, it's, it's, you know, for those type of shows, people don't really think about it. They kind of just like to watch it and go, oh my God, it was so cute. It was so this, all the emotions, but they don't think about the actual message. Well, now you're spreading the exact message that the show is supposed to, you know, cure a little. Or like, let you all know that it's not an, an issue to arise what someone's sexuality is um you know and you that you shouldn't you shouldn't have to always question or always have to ask people or people shouldn't always have to give answers you know just as, as if you're straight you know it's kind of just like a live with it you know what i mean and it's not like i go i don't go after you because you're straight you know what i mean it's like crazy but you're gonna you know not that people are going after him but it's the fact that and they kind of are but it's the fact that they're you know how the way that they they want to say like he's queer baiting, he's this. And I just feel bad that he had to be forced out to kind of, you know, to, to come out. Instead of just being able to, you know, do what he wants to do. And I can understand, again, both perspectives, but there's a way to do it. You know, there's a very, there's very much a way to go about it. And next segment, I mean, next um, um, topic. Obviously, you know, Elon Musk bought Twitter, like I said, so it's like kind of crazy to see what's been going on. But, um, you know, speaking about what we were just talking about in our last topic about Kit Connor, um, Netflix, you know, in their Twitter bio, they put, I want to quote it correctly, they said, we love you, Kit Connor. They put that in the description and the Young Royals banner for season two is, 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 is the, the Twitter banner for, for Netflix. Isn't that crazy? Two queer shows getting attention in netflix netflix's his feed except the kid connor thing is more like obviously it's for you know everything that's been going on but that i wouldn't say that's anything towards heartstopper you know it does not trying to support them it's really it's really just we feel you we, we see what's happening but it's still to me love to the queer community and everyone the fact that young girls is up there too that's crazy all right well thanks for watching trending topics Let's get straight to our interview. Thanks for coming. You know, I, I first of all, I just want to get right into it because, you know, I haven't really um, we haven't really spoke like other than like one time, you know, and I want to <laughs> I want to get right into this because, uh, you know, I, I think it was like a few what was it, like a month or two. I don't know. It was a while ago. Yeah, but yeah. I don't remember, but it was something like that. But but just, you yeah. know, I wanted to, to have you on. And this is our, I believe, fourth interview. I probably don't even remember how many interviews we've had, but it's our, around our fourth interview. But, um, you know, it's good to have you, um, you know, uh, and, and you've been, you know, I'm pretty sure you've been busy, but uh, I did want to let everyone know, though, how we actually, um, you know, how I know you, which is because I, I saw you, we, we, we met at like a, what was it, like an event that someone put together? Yeah, it was at um, Picturistic, the, okay. the studio, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. That was a, 
that was a that was a fun night yeah that night was kind of crazy too there was like other stuff I was like it was crazy but but <laughs> how, how have you been since then I've been pretty good you know okay. yeah you're right there was a lot going on you know <laughs> left yeah. and right you're seeing people like making videos you know for real yeah yeah for real I mean you know I love that experience you know all those you know and I'm pretty sure you do too you know because um mm -hmm. like, we're, like we're gonna get into you know I know I've seen you've done dancing for a long time since you were young. You've been you've been doing yeah, yeah. many different things. Uh, I've seen you. You've done things on AGT. I, I believe you you were on a show as well. And I and I've seen. Oh, and then one I'm also going to get into, which is which is to me one of the deal breakers where I was like, he has to come on here so I can talk to him about this for sure. Um, regardless, I was going to have you on, but I definitely want to talk about this too, which was that you were actually in an Eminem um, music video, which is and That's it's right, funny yeah. because. Because when that first came out, I remember watching the full thing. And I actually remember, I was like, oh, look at this kid. You know, like he's actually up there doing his thing. And I didn't know who, you know, at that time, I was like, that's pretty successful. Like, that's cool that he's up there doing that. I had no clue who you were at that time. This was a while ago. Yeah. And, um, but now looking at it and then uh, actually, you know, throwing back to how we, how I met, um, you know, you at Picturistic, um, you know, <laughs> we, I just, I think I just went up to, I mean, that's how I, you know, that's how people do it, you know, especially there. <clears throat> yeah yeah with a camera and they're like yo speak to the whatever and and bam you know and then they'll post it or something like that but um you know i, I like after that because at first i like i had known of stuff that you had done and actually the guy that was with me albert who, who also helps produce this show and some other stuff i do um pointed me out and he was like yo that's ian he knows um um you know some other people like um you know merrick who was on agt like i know you know different people like that but i respect people especially who've been who've been doing something since they were really young and then, you know, and, and keep doing it and also push it because they want to do it. You know what I mean? So I see yeah. that 100% in you. And that's where, you know, at least to uh, my first question, which is what was like, you know, the experiences like when you were, um, you know, doing like AGT and all those, because you were young then, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So how were like those, um, you know, I don't know if that was like really a start to you because you've been doing this for so long, but, you know, how, how was that to you now looking at where you're at? Well, I think, um, you know, like, as we get older, like, we all think, oh, I would do that differently. Yeah. And um, I, I think uh, it's not that I would have done different things, like, at AGT or Eminem, but yeah. I would have been a little bit more comfortable with what to expect. Yeah. For real. Yeah. So, like, for AGT, for example, like, mm -hmm. like um, the group of dancers that I was dancing with, we got together and then the choreographer came and it was just like right to it like instantly and um he taught pretty fast luckily like I've been training and trying to improve my pickup for a while so yeah I was able to get it but oh, wow. um I wasn't I didn't know that it, that's what it was like yeah oh really the same day we'd be on stage you know or like that weekend yeah yeah I didn't know that okay so so it was like kind of not planned out you know what I mean like and you know most of stuff like even in acting I know when I've done things in acting you know it's like oh last minute you know you were just supposed to be here standing behind the main character but now we, we actually want you to say something to the person and it's just like so you know out of nowhere right so it's like that's kind of interesting like that's how it was with with you for Eminem or was yeah, that right? yes uh, everything is pretty fast paced yeah. I know that um when I did lip sync battle on Nickelodeon that was a little bit different because well everyone there was a younger kid yeah so um I think they laid it out in a way where it'd be easier for um like younger kids to stay focused and not get distracted yeah so like for example AGT that's not specifically a kid's show no. Eminem music video I was the only kid there <laughs> yeah you know? so uh I think working in an environment with other professionals who are adults is kind of different and it's kind of nice working with kids because one um it's a little more relatable you know yeah. and two the directors kind of give the kids like some leeway almost in a way okay, okay. so like um mess around a little sometimes yeah you know but um when I was at lip sync I wanted to like be extra focused and stuff because yeah. I mean, it was a crazy opportunity, so I wanted to make sure that I wasn't, like, going to mess it up, so. For real, yeah. yeah um, I get that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, so 
that's interesting also because I, I was wondering um with the adult with the more like adult oriented sets is it like very you know like you just get straight to the point you know was because was, I know in the kid shows they kind of like it's all set up you know for for them to do what they want to do and they have times more open there's more flexibility but yeah. do, you, do you like do you seem to like those more did you start off with, with like that did you start off with like it with the kid sets more than the adult sets when you first started or was it always because I hear differently from everyone you know mm -hmm. well my first job ever uh in LA was I was dancing at the halftime show when the Clippers were playing I think it was in like 20 2016 2017 something like that uh -huh. and I was dancing in the halftime show and I was dancing with a group of kids interestingly okay. yeah and but like so I guess you could call that like a kid event I guess yeah Although but the thing about first, it what's yeah. up if it's the first yeah for sure I mean yeah you, yeah uh, and it was my first one like <laughs> I was so nervous <laughs> oh really but yeah. yeah I mean I've been on stage before I've performed before plenty, but yeah. that was my first like job, job. Is there one person that you worked with, you know, forever, you know, what while dancing, like since you started, that you still work with now? Or just, you know, are you friends with in general? Like as a mentor or uh I say more just as a friend at, at first. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Um like there are plenty of dancers. So I started dancing at Culture Shock San Diego when I was uh five. Yeah. And I went on mini shock, the like the the smallest uh, troop, uh -huh. and a lot of the kids that were on the that first season that I was on, I still like talk to today and sometimes dance with. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So it's like that is that interactive community kind of. Yeah. How did you get from that to to the influencers? That's a that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> interesting because, um, I never thought like mm -hmm. that was a thing that was gonna happen like yeah it was never like a plan of mine either at the same time yeah or in general but, who are yeah yeah well, <laughs> exactly <laughs> like that bam yeah yeah so it's like well I think the way it kind of happened was um I went I the idea came from oh it would be cool if I was like I saw this these dancers on commercials like oh I can do that yeah right so I, I went up to LA I think I was 11 and um my mom and I got connected with go to talent okay and uh that's that's my agent now still okay and yeah so I got signed like based off of all the information that I already had and after that it was kind of like every audition you go to every job you go to you see the same people yeah and you're like oh you started to get to know these people and then um these dancers and actors are also and are also like on social media and influencers at the same time yeah so it kind of is like if you're doing jobs like from an agency yeah. then you're gonna end up in that influencer kind of circle as well yeah and perfect. i think that's kind of what happened yeah. and you just became friends with one of them and then bam picturistic that's what happened yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's what it seems like huh yeah I because it but it's cool because you know a little events like that do you tend out before I even get to this do you do you attend a lot of events like what kind of events like kind of like picturistic or like even yeah if you yeah, do yeah. Carpet events do you do carpet events a lot uh no not not specifically but you do more like picturistic events that's yeah cool. like, the, like yeah, kinda, I think a lot of bunch of dancers get together Okay. cool spot make some videos yeah well that's a good thing you know what i mean and i you know now with the influencers they know how to do it because it's like before <laughs> it was just an idea but now they go out and it's like damn it's like they're actually filming like daily it's like it's not even just like i'm a dancer it's like they could go film themselves like eating like pizza or like so you know I mean go out yeah, exactly you know people will watch it and, and that's what you know what influencing is but like it's like it's crazy um, you had a you had a youtube channel i don't know if you still try to do any of that but like mm. i know majority of the things i've seen from you is also on stage and it seems like you do a lot of it so you're really active with it so it's like okay mm -hmm. so you prefer that maybe a little more than anything video wise is that, is that yeah true? um well i think getting the opportunity to be on stage is way more fun i think like because when you do a video there's no faces you're performing for i guess and you you can like 
there's not too much pressure to like get it right if you know what yeah. i mean because you can retake the video is it the reactions too do you like that yeah that's like it, it gives so much energy i think I'm scared to death with those reactions i could <laughs> i could not yeah. like just them like you know what i mean like trying to hide <laughs> the face i'm like no i could yeah for i couldn't do that um do you listen what's your favorite type of uh music genre i think i know but i was that's why i was i was wondering okay i love personally okay it's it, listening and dancing are two different things yes right so sure listening i really like hip-hop like okay yeah that's kendrick j cole tyler yeah let's get it right you know okay. what i'm saying like yeah. and then um i think dancing my style is like really more connected to old school hip-hop so like mm -hmm. that i like uh, that. breaking popping so that would be like 80s 90s early 2000s hip-hop you, okay, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah no, I know. That, that's another thing that I saw from you. And I was like, that's cool, because um, that's original. I think a lot of these, you know, influencers and people who dance now, at least from what I see, they just use mm -hmm. a lot of the generic same music that's, you know, like this very yeah. popular moment, which I get, understand, use it, do your thing. I know. Yeah, I, at the same time, right. like, yeah, at yeah, the same time, to. I got to mix it in. For real. Right. So sometimes um, a song that I really like won't do too well. And that happens, you know, exactly. and it's like, you got to balance out when you're yeah. going to do a what trend that's happening. And then yeah. at the same time, you could also like, for me, when I see a trend, it's like, all right, I'm going to do this dance, but I'm going to do it my way without yeah. changing it too much, but my way. Yeah. Right. That's cool. And I think that's the original part for me that I want to keep exactly doing like within my social media. I really like the ones that you do with hip hop though, that I'm like, I'm like, Ooh, the song is good too. And I'm like, yeah, and I'm, and I'm watching and I'm like, okay. And, and it's entertaining because it's like, and right. like you said, you like performing on stage, but then there's also that other type of, uh, I would say like outlet and, and platform of what you do online and, yeah. and, and the way that you do with the music you're creating, it's like, you know, it's creating content. So it's like, mm -hmm. even though it's short, um with the dances you do and, and it's the core it's the choreography and everything because you do different type of like you i seen like you come in with different people and you come from one frame to another and then you're doing and by the way i know nothing about dance so i know something like i sound like <laughs> right now but i'm gonna just tell you like for sure i i seen like what you've done and, and it's just you know it's it's fascinating especially from someone mm -hmm. who likes to see action you know i like to see something happening and when you just scroll on a page for 15 seconds you see something and you're like wow that was talented i know nothing about dancing but that is you know that's talent you know you right know doing and you love you, you I, I, at least I hope that you love what you do because you've been doing it for yeah. Um. Oh, and also knowing that you did, you were in the Eminem video. I mean, first of all, we yeah, I love hip hop. Yeah, if we have to even get started on anything, it would be that the fact that you were on an Eminem. And and this is not like a little like you were not with a group in the back or anything. You had a full on like you were right in the <laughs> for a, a little. Right. So it was like yeah. Okay. So. You know, so okay, I'll just start talking about that then because yeah, for I sure. mean, it was pretty, it was a pretty fun experience. The audition itself was kind of hilarious. Um, I went there and I saw all these like famous dancers, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's oh my gosh, I was like kind yeah. of a little starstruck. Oh wow, and some of my friends were there too, which is awesome. Yeah, so you know, I was feeling a little more, a little more comfortable. I had to take a second to breathe, and I was like, all right, let's do this. Yeah. So the instructions were to read these lyrics and it was actually the lyrics of venom okay by eminem but yeah. the song didn't come out yet so we oh. got it yeah yeah we got it before yeah and then, they, they and then we had to like memorize it so we didn't have any advantage of like being able to listen to the song before so we had to memorize the lyrics and then they played they were playing the song for us okay. and the instructions were to lip sync while like making hand gestures or dancing. And so I was like, all right, whatever, you know, let's just, let's just send it. So did I you did. like the song? Then, did you like the song yeah. before it came out? Like, it was scary. It was scary <laughs> to hear the song. Like that was my first emotion that I relate with that song because yeah, the part that we had to lip sync was really fast. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So I had to like, yeah, the fact you had kind to lip sync that too, up. like, sheesh, yeah. I couldn't keep up with that on the video. And the fact that you had mm -hmm. to, uh, yeah, that'd be hard for me. Yeah, so I ended up um, getting it, which was super awesome. And then yeah. uh, when I got there, when they gave us this location, and it wasn't the, it wasn't the set yet, 
but uh, it was this location where it was like a dressing room and the movement instructor instructors were there there was catering and uh crafting and stuff food yeah. and um the thing about it was it was kind of funny because the movement instructor like told me that I was going to do all these things I was going to like throw a lamp and throw a uh, throw the table, throw some chairs. And when I got to the set, they were like, all right, you're going to do this, this, and this. And I was like, wait, in my brain, I was like, that's not what he said. Right? Yeah. I was like, and oh. then I was like, oh yeah, my movement instructor, he said that um, I was going to like throw some chairs and lamps and stuff. And then the director was like, oh, well, let's put it in then. And I was like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. And then wow. that's what ended up put like being in the video. So yeah, for yeah real. that was pretty cool. That yeah, that's interesting. Like did it feel like it wasn't like prepared or what? Because like a lot of them seem to be because like I know on sets too where they'll be like, do this, do this, and then it's like it's like no no, no. and then when you do it, it's like they want a completely different thing. So like did you feel that at right. all? Right. Well, I feel like they were pretty on top of it. They were because I think my main evidence to reason that that's what was going on is right after I filmed my scene the guy uh in the video who plays my dad jumps out yeah. the window right he yeah. actually like they set it all up it was sugar glass he actually broke the glass oh. and jumped oh. onto the porch oh yeah. yeah wow so was that yeah so was that like a scary scene to you like actually being there like that like was that scary to you like actually that was, sure they're doing it I mean it was exciting yeah for sure well, I, I mean, was I nervous on Eminem you know video I'd be super excited too I'd be like oh yeah <laughs> yeah but that part was like extra exciting you know what I'm saying like yeah, yeah. for real all right well thank thank you for joining um you know on the, on the fourth episode I believe I think it's the fourth of episode. course I hope it is um don't leave <laughs> we got it yeah but thanks thank you for joining I appreciate it I appreciate I, I like I said I hope you can join uh us again soon if we can renew to a second season or else you know maybe we, we won't be able to do it again I gotta be able to, to you know to continue the whole thing but um I'll right. hopefully have you on again and also you know maybe see you at more events and everything and maybe do some some other type of collab you know I got you know and actually speaking about rap I have music coming out I'm I hey I need someone who can dance you know I need someone who, yo like, who doing you know what I mean? like what yeah okay for real. that's fire we got to do some collab in the future but thanks for thanks for coming on of thanks course for a quick little interview try to get what we could out could have out of it and um yeah Let's get it.